hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna be doing a review and these three products i had shown in my cherry culture haul and um they're the la colors 16 pan uh, eyeshadow palette and yeah unfortunately i actually dropped one of them and it cracked so let me tell one no don't drop these palettes because they ain't gonna end well right all right good so as you know i got three palettes the three palettes i got were hot this one is sweet and this one is actually a nude type of palette uh, i'm just telling you straight off the bat they have no matte colors in them they're all shimmery and they all have ink talc so they're gonna smell kind of like baby powder and the last one which is actually my favorite is smoking sorry is smoking um they all come with this little uh, dull foot applicator thing which I don't really use but sometimes I find when it comes to getting down in the inner corner with the color you try not to get a lot of fallout like how a brush would um, so I'm just gonna do a few swatches for you guys and I'm gonna let you know as well that the darker colors have the better color payoff so let's see let's take this nice silver one here um, I'm gonna take this kind of purpley mauvey color and I'm gonna go for this one here up in the corner so as you can see as soon as the colors are darker they are going to give you a better color payoff and I'm actually just gonna swipe them on my hand so you can see so that payoff is actually pretty decent for something that is two dollars and I think 80 cents or something like that. I'm gonna move on then and do a few swatches from the nude palette which I know a lot of people will be more interested in. Um, so sorry I was just gonna wipe off my hand so I can swatch the other one for you properly. Next one is sweet and sweet like I said before is the nude kind of neutral color palette and it comes with a black that is not very dark it's more of a grayish kind of black and um, any of these colors that you see in here that are really light like this color here or this one or any of these colors here they're all very similar they're supposed to be white or cream but then when you swatch them on your hand and you just blend them out with your finger a little bit it just becomes a lot of shimmer so I'd say for these particular colors if you're going to use them I would more put a very good base because these are not going to last if you don't have a base put down a really good base and then just pat them onto the lid but if you're trying to blend like two and three colors together unless you're using something that's really dark um, it's just going to blend away and the colors are not going to really stand up to the blending so um, I'm going to do some of the lighter ones I'm going to do two of the lighter ones I'm going to do two of the darker ones I'm going to take uh, this one here and then let's see this guy here so as you can see from those finger swatches they pretty much look the same um, so I can't say that I'm very impressed with that, but I am not surprised either. So they pretty much just look like silver glitter and that one in the bottom is supposed to be a cream and the other one is kind of like a pinky kind of tone and they both look like silver. You're just seeing a lot of silver shimmer in it. Um, so I'm going to go for, let's see, I'm going to try two different types of colors. I'm going to take this one next to this olive green. I know that olive green right there is really nice and um, yeah let's go with that olive green so I'm gonna make sure not to drop this I don't want to break another one those are the two colors there this is the kind of bronzy kind of color and this one is a nice olive kind of green and I'm just gonna do some swatches here and as you can see you can see the colors they're very different um, I'm very sure that you can um, layer these on top of one another, you can blend them, but I would definitely just use this as a lid color, just pat it on with a really good strong base like Urban K or Lorac Pro or anything along those lines, something really good that will grip onto these shadows and these will last hold it. That was sweet. So I'm going to do some swatches from the last one which is hot or hot however you want to pronounce it and this is the one that broke so I'm gonna try my best not to dirty up all of my floor so yeah 
I actually repaired this one and I don't know what happened. It just disintegrated again. So unfortunately that's that one there. But the colors in here are really nice. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go with some fun colors. Let me go with this lemony pen yellow here. And then I'm going to try this pinky orangey kind of color and then I'm gonna go with this blue right here I'm gonna look different so those are the three of those and these are great colors for spring and I live in Barbados we don't have anything as spring is wet season and dry season and right now it's rain outside I don't know if you're gonna hear the rain drops but um yeah we need dry season and it raining I ain't complaining cuz it's hot as ass so anyhow these are the three colors that I have here. I have a yellow, a pinky, kind of corally color, if I can get my fingers to work. And then this nice kind of sky blue. So I'm just going to swatch them here for you guys. And those colors are really bright. So, all in all, I have to say, the lighter colors are probably going to disappoint you. The color that is a little bit more dark or anything of that sort is going to give you better color pale. So, um... I'd say for somebody who's now starting in makeup, if you can get this in Barbados, I have not been, you know, looking around very much, but I'm very sure you can find these in Barbados. They might have them. If not, I got mine on Cherry Culture, and they always have sales. Just it takes a really long time for them to ship and stuff like that. But otherwise than that, they package up their stuff really nicely. And um, yeah, so uh, line would I repurchase this? No, simply because I have higher end makeup and I have makeup that is better quality. But for somebody who's no star, you know, I would say give it a go, give it a try, practice it. But you're also going to need some matte colors to go with it because they're not any colors that I personally would use as like highlight. Because you know, for my brow highlight, I like my colors to be more matte. Um, some people don't have a problem, so you never know. Um, I say the most versatile one would probably be this guy, smoking. And I know the neutral colors. People say, "Oh, well, you know, the neutral will be better." But for me, those colors are a little teeny tiny. All of the lighter colors are gonna switch you into one. So I go with the smoking. If anything, it has some dark colors. It has some fun colors in there. Um, so it has some brown, some purple, some um, pink, some gray, um, a black that's a little bit shimmery. So. It, that is my review for my LA Colors palettes. Um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you've actually tried these palettes before. Tell me if you like it. Um, if any of my girls out there from Barbados are watching this, if you see them here, please leave it down below and let everybody else know if they can get their hands on them. Um, yeah, this makeup look I have actually filmed and probably will go up before this video. If not, just check around for it. So thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you all guys next.